is governmental compulsion warranted in airport security because of the <clears throat> potential of force by terrorists uh, uh, <clears throat> and they are the function of the government is to protect us against force. My answer is absolutely no, no. <clears throat> First of all, you cannot give protection by blanketing the, air for, the, the airports of the country with a federal bureaucrat. This is shown time and again. They have tests. Uh, government uh, itself sponsors tests. And like six out of eight groups all over the different airports carry bombs onto planes and weapons and rifles right on through uh, <coughs> uh, security. But in, in any event, it wouldn't make any difference because it is impossible anywhere uh, to protect uh, you from uh, uh, terrorists on the loose in uh, the country. Now, why airport? Well, they've used planes up to now. But of course, it's been said that they're not going to use planes because people are so aware of planes. What about just letting poison gas free uh, in a mall anywhere? Or blowing up a school would terrify the country and their parents even more? Or polluting the water supply? I mean, you, if you try to think of the things that uh, a half terrorist with half a brain could do to terrorize the entire country, he doesn't need airplanes at all. So the whole thing is absolutely insane. They can't do it. And if they did do it, it wouldn't protect the country anyway. So uh, <clears throat> the only way you can combat terrorism is by all out declaration of war, military war against the governments that are sponsoring allowing, uh, permitting the education, the training, equipment, the financing of these terrorists. As long as the governments like Syria and Iran and uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, etc., are permitting this, uh, and we are doing nothing, and in fact calling half of them our friends, then of course there's going to be terrorists. Uh, you can't deal with, it's like trying to deal with the advance guard of Hitler's Germany while saying, oh, we're friends with Germany, is just when he sends out people with swastikas to bomb us, we want to catch them. It is beyond uh, insanity. Why did we not have terrorists? They hated the West all the time. So uh, why did the Middle East not send out terrorists all the way through the 19th century, all the way through the uh, earlier uh, part of the 20th century? because they knew what would happen to the governments that allowed it. They were squashed in a cradle. But, you know, with the Western and American guilt and self-doubt and uh, compromise and appeasement, and they hate this country, I mean, it, it's uh, plucked, it's ready to be totally uh, taken over. Uh, and... Uh, if they want to protect the country, a nuclear bomb on Tehran is the only way and the only start. I would say, give them, tell them in three days it's coming. And if, the, if you want to evacuate, get out. If not, you're finished. I actually would do that. Now, I don't speak for objectivism, certainly not on military strategy. And uh, let me just say for the record, your own uh, broke my disagree, he might think there's other tactics, and I defer to him on military tactics. I'm just saying, I myself, as an ignorant layman, see no, I know I'm right about declaring war, but what country and what weapon and how much time notice, I can't prove that. That, that is a, that is my best, uh, I'm not necessarily my most rational assessment because it's too it's too enraging uh, for me that's why i don't talk about these questions